When anyone in the audio world is asked, hey, I need a headphone amp DAC, under $100, small, you know, good quality. The FIOE 10K is like number one. Well, the K is now number one. Yeah, I've also recommended the SMSL M2, which I do not have here, and I regret not buying another one after I gave away the first one. But, but, if someone asked you the very specific question, hey, can you name one of those that's made in America? You'd have literally one answer. Oh, you've got to get a, uh, you're full of shit. You're full of shit is what you'd say. By the way, creative packaging because America doesn't have the money for fancy boxes with words. Words and foam. No. All right. Now, since it's making fun of itself, the shit fuller, I'm not going to go into the full of shit, 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 full of shit, shitty foot uh, discussion. That is a nice short wire. Let's do a uh, side by side comparison first. Similar lengths. Obviously, the E10 is bigger. Now, here's the thing I use this for a while. You want to talk about build first or you want to talk about sound? Let's go right to sound. It sounds amazing. Amazing. Where I thought this sounded a little bit light, and you put the bass on it was better, and it's got a nice volume knob. This kills it for sound quality. Just kills it. This has no features. Where this has high and low gain, bass boost, knurled knob, rear line out, rear coaxial out, $75. You bring this to America, and all you can get out of it is headphone out. And a crooked... Yeah, it's just crooked. It's not rusty. It's just crooked. Uh, mini USB in. And a knob that is really, really one of the worst volume things I've ever, ever experienced. It's slightly too far away from the thing, so it like rocks. It's, I feel like I'm going to break something. But it's made in America. And if you're a European watching this, that doesn't fucking matter to you. But being an American, holding something made in America that is like that... That's hard to do. So, no options. Frankly, deplorable build quality. No, not deplorable build quality, but you could tell they didn't have the money to get rid of these sharp edges. Like, this shroud around it, I'm pretty sure, is a heat, shrink, heat sink. Because, I mean, that's the easiest way to do is slide this on. And this very thin aluminum has these corners. And these corners, I could like, ah, oh, oh, they're so sharp. They're so sharp. Like a nail file. You got to get out here and nail file these down. So you got one, two, three, four sharp corners. And you've got an absolutely atrocious volume now that you can't adjust. If you've got any sort of normal size fingers. It, it's completely smooth, so you can't, like, you have to, like, squeeze, and then you have the little pissant indicator there. That's one thing that you're going to get when you go with a, uh, like, a Fio, is you're going to get a nice knurled knob with numbers and everything. The only way I was able to actually adjust the volume in this is to fully thumb it, and either, yeah, just, just like, thumb. There, that's how you adjust the volume on this. Are you asleep, computer? Wake up, computer. We're time to work now. Uh, uh, it's fine. We wanted that anyway. Packaging's fine. So. Overall sound quality, I like, I enjoy more than I like the Fio. The Fio, I said, sound a little bit anemic or bright or boring or neutral or whatever. Whatever I said, go back to my video and watch it. And this little thing, which gets hot, by the way. This one doesn't get hot. It's got hot. This thing powered my Mad Dogs, which is a, a feat. 
that is not a not feet. That is a feet. There's also no lights or indicators on it because those cost money. And this thing would be a hundred dollars if it had an indicator that says, "Hey, I'm turned on and I've been detected." Your device is ready to use. Thank God. So now I should be able to configure this to output to headset to anchor. No, that's not it. All right, I had to uh, plug the I'm full of shit directly in. It did not like working through the hub. I had that same problem on my M2. I don't know, maybe it's my hub. My anchor, anchor, anchor hub. Right here it says, speakers, I'm full of shit, is ready. Let's see what the options are. Properties. We could name it something other than speakers, because it probably won't be. Levels 100%. You have to disable the enhancements. If it has an enhancements tab, even if none of these are en enabled, just click the disable all enhancements, as it will shut things off. And we have all the way from up to 2496 we can select. Okay, okay, okay. Let's tell Fubar here to use that as its output. Wasapi event. Speakers, I'm full of shit. It is playing. Let's make sure my make sure this terrible, terrible volume control is all the way down. And uh I don't have many hard to drive headphones. I don't have my Mad Dogs here, but I used it. I can tell you. All right, now that I've shut off my resampler and set everything correctly to 24 bit, 96 kilohertz, in Windows and in Fubar, everything plays beautifully. Let's play some lovely boobs from the uh, Tang and Topa Garin Lagan. It's not even sticky enough to turn. Like, that's half volume. I'm alright, that's full volume. Thank God this is a quiet ass song. I can feel the knob getting warm. There's warmth coming through it now. So. Who buys a full of shit? Who buys a shit full of? Someone who needs a DAC amp and only a DAC amp. You have no need. If you're looking at speakers, well, then you're not getting this to be your DAC amp. This at least has a line out in the back of it. So you can adjust your volume down on your headphones and let your speaker still be playing. Can't with this. If you put speakers in this, you're gonna be you're gonna have you're gonna be preamping your amp, which is not always the best. And then you're going to be splitting with headphones. I mean, the headphones, you're not going to do it. This is very, very specific. You have a laptop. You want to put this in your laptop. You want better sound on the go. This. I wish I have to... I'm going to get a big felt pad and stick it on that volume knob. Because it's going to be better than what the hell it comes with. The, wor the worst volume control ever. But made in America! Does that make up for the fact it's the worst volume control ever? No. No, it's still the worst volume control ever. But certainly the lightest, smallest little baby headphone DAC that I could ever imagine. That I could ever imagine. And it performs well beyond what I expect. So shit is full of surprises. That guy. That guy from shit. That shitty guy. Certainly, certainly, certainly. Got to try to get it. I got to try to get it working with my phone. It's one of the things is I considered. Uh, here's an OTG cable for, because it is a, a mini, so I had to have a micro to mini. I just can't get it to work on my current Android. I'm sure it can. I'm sure somewhere out there it can work. I just haven't figured that out yet. Excellent.